By the time the first atlas arrived at Vandenberg, many of the earlier innovations had been adopted or modified, many of the complexities mastered. This transporter is approaching the MAB building, a shelter for the assembly and checkout of all Atlas missiles, where the major portion of the weapon checkout is performed by this fantastic piece of apparatus, the Automatic Programmed Checkout Equipment, or APSHE, an electric mechanical brain on the order of an electronic business machine. APSHE tests the operation of the missile's many systems and their related ground support equipment and automatically evaluates all test results. Punched programming cards, such as these, are inserted and read by the APSHE reader, whereupon command signals are sent to the missile via the related checkout equipment and given tests are accomplished. Each test performed is printed on a tape as a specific test is being performed. Not only does APSHE check out all missile systems and ground support equipment, it is also capable of immediate self-check assuring before and after each missile test that the equipment itself is functioning properly. Upon completion of checkout, early on the morning of September 9th, 1959, the operations controller at the Combat Control Center, SAC Headquarters, Omaha, used the red phone for immediate contact with the officer in charge at Vandenberg. This was the long-awaited command to launch an Atlas missile. Immediately, the order was relayed to launch control officer in the blockhouse. The lights on the standby status panel in a ready position, the launch control officer directed launch operator to start the automatic sequence and countdown. Then, as the seconds ticked off, the atmosphere in the blockhouse became electrified as operators and technicians manned the consoles. Support crews performed their last minute duties with clock-like precision. And then, Vandenberg had scored again, successfully launching its first intercontinental ballistic missile. 